This is launch pad 37B. It's not often you get to go live from a launch pad. That's a Delta IV Heavy. That is the heaviest, most powerful rocket on Earth from the United Launch Alliance. And NASA says what's going to happen here on this launch pad is, quote, absolutely the biggest thing this agency is going to do this year. And this is what it's launching, the Orion, a craft which could someday take us to Mars. CNBC got an exclusive first look inside the facility at Kennedy Space Center where it is being housed. Next week it will be rolled out to the launch pad at Cape Canaveral to prepare for its first unmanned test flight December 4th. The flight will test the riskiest parts of this program, the launch abort system, which includes an aerojet engine. Now that's the company providing the engine that may have caused the orbital sciences explosion last week. There are no common parts between these two missions. In fact, there are no Russian engines at all in this mission. Orion is set to go higher than we've been since Apollo to give it the high re-entry speed needed to test the brand new largest ever heat shield. Yeah, I think that's the key part and the hardest part to test on the ground. We can test pieces and we can model on a computer, but you get actually putting it in flight and seeing how the aerodynamics work and how it actually erodes, which is part of the plan, that's gonna be a real key part of the test. Now, this is Lockheed Martin's biggest space program. NASA has spent over $5 billion so far in Orion. And while outside, the Orion looks not too different from Apollo, there are composite materials, 3D printed parts, fewer switches. Everything, the, the, uh, you know, it's, the shape and the heat shield are more Apollo heritage, so they look familiar. Everything inside is totally different. The technology has changed so much. The ways that you build things has changed so much. Uh, there's not that much heritage.